This video will show you how to install the Acre mod for Armor 3 and get you ready to play on CTB's Intel Off server. To start off, you'll need to download three files CBA for Armor 3, Acre for Armor 3, and TeamSpeak. Links to these files are found in the description below. In order to unpack some of these files, you will also need to install 7zip. A link to 7zip is also included in the description. Begin by installing TeamSpeak by running the install executable file. Once TeamSpeak is installed, shut it down and open an explorer window and navigate to the Armor 3 installation folder. Typically, this folder will be at C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armor 3. Open another explorer window and navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the mods to. A quick way to open another window is by pressing Ctrl N and I'll now navigate to where I've downloaded the mods. You should have two zip packages located in your downloads folder, one called CBA A3 underscore beta 4.7z and another one called acre.zip. We'll begin by unzipping both of these files. So you should have something similar to this, uh, two folders, one called acre, another called cba underscore a3. Uh, we'll, we'll first go look in the cba folder and we will find another folder in there called at cba a3. We will drag that folder and drop it into the armor 3 installation folder. We'll go back one level on our download section and we'll now look in the acre folder. In this acre folder you will find an at acre, an at jarma2lib and a user config folder. Grab those three folders and drag and drop into your armor 3 installation folder. Because I already have a user config folder I will skip that now in order for Armour 3 and TeamSpeak and Acre to run correctly while we have our mod folders inside the installation folder, we will need to run Armour 3 and TeamSpeak as administrator. So while we are in, in the Armour 3 installation folder, we will look for the Armour 3 executable. If you do not have the extensions displayed in your Explorer window, you can determine the executable by looking at the file type which should be application and the file size which should be roughly around 21 meg. Once you have located the Armour 3 executable right click on it and go to properties and go to the compatibility tab and in the privilege level section make sure that run this program as an administrator is ticked, hit apply and then OK. We'll now navigate to the uh, TeamSpeak installation folder. Typically uh, this is located at C program files TeamSpeak 3 client. If you installed the 32-bit version it may uh, reside in program files x86. We will now navigate to the plugins folder. Now back to the acre download folder. We will have two files in there called acre win32.dll and acre win64.dll. If you know which version of TeamSpeak uh, that you've you've installed just copy over the appropriate uh, DLL file. If you're unsure, you're able to just copy both. So just highlight both and drag and drop into the plugins folder. Because I've already got them installed, I will skip that. Now we will need to run TeamSpeak as admin. So 
in the uh, plugins folder go one level back and we will look for a file called ts3 client underscore win64 or win32.exe uh, depending on which version you're running again if you don't don't have the extensions displayed in your explorer window confirm that uh, the or the file type is application and the size is roughly about 13 megabytes once you have located the ts3 client file right click on it go to properties go to compatibility and in privilege level confirm that run this program as administrator is ticked hit apply and OK. So now we want to launch uh, TeamSpeak. So I've already got that open here. We want to go to Settings and go to Plugins. Uh, in this window on the left side, we want to make sure Acre Plugin is uh, ticked. If it isn't, just click that and hit Close. Uh, go to Options, go to Hotkeys. On the bottom right, it's, uh, it's important to change this setting. On the bottom right, there's a drop down menu. We want to change it from default to keyboard and mouse only. Um, also, if this is the first time you're um, running TeamSpeak, you're not going to have a hotkey uh, displayed here. That's fine, we'll set that up. Um, go to capture. We want to make sure push to talk is uh, enabled or chosen in this radio button. We want to click this button here and designate a hotkey for our push to talk. I'm using insert. Uh, you can use whatever you'd like. Insert works good. Um, just make sure you don't use caps lock. So we'll just cancel that. So I've already got on set up. Um, below that section we want to make sure advanced options is ticked and we want to make sure voice activation detection while using push to talk is disabled all these other settings um, below that uh, aren't really needed you can ignore those uh, hit apply hit ok right so we've got TeamSpeak set up with a hotkey we've got our plugin set up we can just close that for now um, just shut it down on your taskbar there's a little uh, speaker icon next to your clock right click that go to recording devices this little window is going to pop up uh, we want to right click on the microphone that you're using go to properties go to the advanced tab um, in the exclusive mode section we want to make sure that allow applications to take exclusive control of this device is unticked and then it will automatically gray out give exclusive mode applications priority so once you've unticked that click apply and then hit OK and then we can hit OK here close that window down so now you can relaunch uh, TeamSpeak and connect to uh, the TeamSpeak server um, if you're playing Intel Ops, I suggest you connect to CTB's TeamSpeak, which is ts.combatteambravo.com. Right channels, public server, Intel Ops. Anyway, so now we're ready to launch Armor 3. Um, you can do that through your um, desktop icon or through your uh, Steam library. It doesn't matter how you launch it. Uh, we, the, the mods are going to be enabled through the in-game menus. So uh, just give me a sec and I'll get Armour 3 started up. Right, so uh, once the game's launched, uh, go to the Configure uh, section, go to Expansions, and you want to enable the three mods that we've uh, copied to our installation folder, being Acre, AtJArmour2Lib, and Community Base Add-ons. So to enable them, you just highlight and click the Enable button, Again, do that for JAMA 2 lib and CBA, then click OK. And you're going to get a prompt asking you uh, to restart the game. Uh, you want to click Restart now. So let it restart the game um, and get back to the main menu. Um, we've just got a couple more things to set up to uh, finish the installation. 
So uh, once your game has restarted, uh, click configure, go to controls, and we want to change the default keybinds for um, push to talk. Uh, by default, it is caps lock, which will um, interfere with your acre push to talk. So we want to change that. Um, so highlight it, click delete and then maybe change uh, the hotkey for the in-game push to talk. I use control tab and then just hit OK and in voiceover net we want to actually delete this keybind by default it's two times caps lock um, this will basically stop you from hot miking in-game um, it's kind of a useless feature anyway so hit uh, highlight the uh, keybind and hit delete make sure it's clear and then hit OK so that's it uh, you're now ready to play armor 3 with the acre mod now um, there's gonna be some instances where um, I get at least for me and I've, I've heard some other people having this issue where while you've got your acre plugin enabled um, you can't use or your push to talk button on your keyboard doesn't respond uh, like with me at the moment so my hotkey is insert and I'm just smashing insert at the moment and you can see my uh, light or indicator isn't lighting up uh, one fix that I found to resolve this is to go to your TeamSpeak go to settings go to plugins in your uh, plugins disable Laker um, and now your hotkey works you can see my uh, indicator light up by that blue light. Uh, Re-enable the Acre plugin, try your hotkey again. Um, if it doesn't work, just smash your hotkey just to see if it works. It doesn't in this case. So disable uh, the plugin again, just tap your hotkey a couple of times, re-enable the plugin. Again, it doesn't work uh, after testing, so disable it keep smashing the insert or your hotkey re-enable and there you go my plugins enabled and my hotkey is now responding it's a bit of a pain in the ass but um, that's one fix um, that I've come across you can actually do this while um, armor 3 is running and connected to a server um, just to you know you can just alt tab to sort it out so it may take a few tries to of enabling and disabling of of the plugin um and as I said yeah it's unfortunate it's just i think it's something to do with these uh the newer versions of teamspeak um three o one three and above so yeah once you've got that set up you're pretty much ready to go um hope you have fun thanks <laughs>